Hey folks, what's here? Welcome back to another Pokemon Master video. And today we're actually going to go through uh, Serena Del Fox's Synchrid video because, um, and I'm doing it today because I thought it did like two days ago, but apparently I didn't. <laughs> so let's 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 go over it, right? Um, so Serena Del Fox says probably everyone in the world who plays Masters knows now is is obviously incredibly powerful, right? Um, and its grid is really interesting as well because like at one out of five. It's already, you already got, like, enough stuff to make her, you know, one of the best units in the game, right? Um, it's 1 out of 5 grid is incredible, right? Like, not, not a lot of 1 out of 5 grids are, like, really that great, right? Um, and, and, and you know, uh, or, or I wouldn't say the grid is great. It is enough for, for a unit to be incredibly powerful, right? Delphox is one, Charizard is a really good example as well, right? Um, Alexam's 1 out of 5 grid is, is fantastic as well, right? get uh you know six cents at uh, mpr um reflect mpr four <laughs> for some reason um yeah so good stuff there and um now let's let's get into the grid then um as usual we'll start with a you know um one out of five build right uh one out of five it doesn't matter what you know kind of grid you're going for in almost every grid you want to pick up this you want to have this at least right um, if you're low on orbs or whatever, this is all you need to pick up. Everything else is gravy. Everything else is extra. Um, this is the most important thing you want to pick up for hip uh, for hypnosis, right? Because at one or five, you can't really do that much damage. Um, you can still do decent damage, but you know it's not anything compared to three out of five, right? Uh, one out of five, you're just mainly focusing on being a a tech unit, right? Which is enough for it to you know be incredibly powerful. So pick up hypnosis, move gauge, refresh. Just with the hypnosis move gate refresh, it, it you know um, it makes uh, her in extremely powerful. Um, so you picked up that, and if you have more orbs to use, right? Uh, dynamic entry is also a real really good pickup because with dynamic dynamic entry, you could come in and then your uh, your first attack when you come in is a sh sure hit, right? So your hypnosis won't miss. So a really really good strategy that I've been using a lot is picking up uh, dynamic entry. Um, Starting, you know, uh, starting with hypnosis, I go in. Hypnosis is a guaranteed hit. Sleep all three units, and then I'll use my trainer move, uh, right, to to increase the can't stop us to increase our accuracy. And then once they, uh, you know, about to wake up, we'll hypnosis again, and then you know use the second trainer move, or you know, it depends on how long they sleep, right? A lot of units, you know, could give us enough room to use the trainer move twice, right? Uh, and if they don't, we just use it once and sleep again, use it again, and then yeah, you have your sync move up uh, by then, right? So. Um, yeah, that's that's something else you probably want to pick up um, over there. Uh, as for some other stuff, um, on the run is is nice to have, I guess. Uh, but you're mainly trying to you know go through that to pick up can't stop us. Um, on the run raises evasive, uh, evasiveness in a pinch. Obviously not very reliable, but uh, you don't have too much stuff at one out of five anyway. So you pick up that. You pick up can't stop us MP refresh three. This is a very very important note to pick up as well. Um, if it's like, if you're running it like with a mega or something, right? Um, say if you're running it with mega Garchomp or whatever, uh, you probably want to pick up Rude Awakening too, so you could deal some damage with your sync move, um, because you probably will be syncing, uh, especially if you're running it with Garchomp, right? You probably will be syncing with, uh, Delphox, um, a lot, right? You'll, you'll, you, the first sync move, you'll sync with Garchomp to get it to my Garchomp, but, you know, all the sync moves afterwards... Uh, you will be using Delphox, right? Assuming you're running uh, Acerola, Cynthia, and, and Delphox. So, yeah, there's that. Those are the main stuff you want to pick up. As for any other things, <sighs> Fire Spin, Move Gauge Refresh, if you want to use Fire Spin, but if you're just, like, hitting, you know, putting them to sleep all the time, Fire Spin's not, like, that big of a deal. Uh, but, you know, if you miss some Hypnosis, which, you know, if it's it's fine to miss them, right? You can pick up Fire Spin, MGR, although it's not, like, that big of a deal, right? Um... If you don't want to do that, you can pick up just some stat nodes, which are fine, right? Um, pick up all these stat nodes, and then you got, like, what, three energy left? And you really can't do much there uh, afterwards, right? No point really picking up power-ups for these. But if you got orbs to spend, then, you know, pick one up, right? So, uh, moving on. Uh, let's talk about two out of five, I guess. Uh, two out of five, it's mostly the same. Um, however, it depends on, like, what skill you have, uh, lucky skill you have. And, and lucky skill is pretty important on Delphox in terms of which build you're going to do, right? Um, so at 2 out of 5, you could actually build some, like, offensive builds, right? You could pick up Hypnosis, MGR, 
three, but with two out of five, you probably would want Dauntless just because you don't have Impervious down here yet, right? Um, so you you could uh, you come in, pick up Overheat, HP Advantage, come down here, pick up Stationary Target five, and again have Hypnosis, Move Gauge Regen still, um, Overheat, Move Gauge Regen, and then as for the uh, other nodes, you could pick up Root Awakening if you want. Um, or you could just pick up more overheat power up nodes, right? You could pick up three extra ones, which is pretty nice. Um, so you could do that. Uh, that's that's for a, a damage build or or um, let's see, do we have enough to seven? Yes, I think we do. Yes, we have enough to pick up. Can't stop up. Uh, can't stop us. Uh, MP refresh. So if you're finding you know um, something that you will need that, then then you can go ahead and do that. If you don't have any supports for accuracy, I'm um, trying to do villa, right? You could you could pick that up. Um, and uh, something else you could do is just go for like a more expanded version of a one out of five. Um, again, if you're just trying to use it for for tech purposes, which is completely you know legitimate, um, you, you pick up a hypnosis and then you just get access to like one more thing, which is bedazzle. Uh, which one has lower? Yeah, this one has lower cost. So you can pick up bedazzle, which lowers the accuracy of all opposing sync pairs when the Pokemon enters the battle. It's not the biggest deal in the world, but it'll be really nice, especially if you're running something like uh, Mew or Rotom. Uh, or, or, or Grimsley as your tank, right? That would be nice to have. As for some other stuff, um, again, on the run into Can't Stop Us, MGR, or if you don't want on the run, you, can, you know, again, you can go through that as well. And then as for, um, you know, other stuff, um, dyna oh, you again, you want dynamic entry, uh, obviously, and then your last note, you pick some damage stuff, or, or you could just go for, like, just full... Uh, um, uh, uh, stats, right? Uh, if you if you want that as well, she actually has two fire spin MGRs. I didn't even notice that. Till, um, obviously, you know, fire spin MGR is probably one of the least or or lesser useful um nodes on 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 our grid, unfortunately. So there's no point really picking that up. Um, so yeah, that's that's another option. Add two out of five, right? So let's go to three out of five. So it's three out of five. Um, we got a lot of really really good options, right? And three out of five, it really again depends on on what lucky skills you get. Uh, for the most part, if you're trying to build, uh, you know, keep on building a tech build for for Delphox, most of the things should be the same. Um, again, Hypnosis, MGR, uh, Bedazzle, come up here, uh, probably want to pick up Can't Stop Us, um, Dynamic Entry, and then you maybe want to come down here and pick up, uh, oh, we don't, have, actually, never mind, we don't have enough for Poketrap, right? I thought we did, never mind. Um, can we drop anything really? I mean, I guess Speed Dazzle is not like the biggest deal. It just depends what, which one you want to go for. Uh, either Pokétrap 3 or, or Bedazzle, right? If you're going for Pokétrap uh, 3, obviously you do a bit more damage, but it just depends on how, how you want to use uh, Hypnosis, right? If you do pick up Pokétrap uh, 3, then you probably want to pick up a Fire Spin uh, MGR. Let's see which ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can only go for this one, right? Um, so there's that as well. Uh, I personally would prefer Pokétrap. Uh, but again, it depends on, on what you're playing, um, how well, you know, uh, you could use Delphox, right, um, for the most part, and and what, you know, uh, what other units you're running with Delphox. Um, moving on, uh, uh, oh, also for all the tech builds, um, if you're running Serena purely as a tech unit, uh, if you're looking for a lucky skill, you could go for Troublemaker, even though she does have self-accuracy buffs, but obviously with Troublemaker, you... You don't have to use accuracy buffs that much. Um, it doesn't boost it to 100%. It's like 93% or something. Uh, but, you know, that's a decent amount already. Uh, if you want to max it out, you can use, use uh, one can't stop us, right? Uh, but if you are trying to, you know, also do damage with Delphox as well, which, again, Delphox does a lot of damage, um, right? Uh, here's here's where some, like, interesting stuff come, uh, comes in, right? As for the lucky skill, you could either go for Dauntless or Critical Strike 2. I personally prefer a Critical Strike 2, and, and, and I'll explain right, uh, why, right? So, again, you want to pick up Hypnosis MGR, uh, just because it's that powerful, even for, like, a, you know, non-tech um, build, right? You're primarily trying to do damage, but it's still really, really good that I'd probably go for it, right? Um, you want to pick up um, Overheat MGR over here, pick up HP Advantage, and come down here, uh, pick up Station Your Target. Now, here is where the choice comes in right in terms of lucky skill because everything else should be generally the same um if you want dauntless or critical strike 2 let's say you're doing dauntless right if you're doing dauntless um you could do something like that and then uh, pick up good nightmare and instead of that you could i think go um 
let's see, uh, you could go that and then um, maybe drop uh, HP advantage, right? Uh, so you could do that if you're trying to go for Dauntless. Um, or if you really don't want him, this is MGR. I guess you could drop that if you want to keep HP advantage. If you don't have an issue with gauges, right? Uh, but I probably, in most comps, I'd probably keep hypnosis, right? Depending on the crop. But, you know, these are the ones that, um, y you want to, uh, work around with, right? Uh, but, um, and, and, and here's the upsides. You get an extra 20% on, on good nightmare, right? Um, w when you're attacking with that. Uh, but again, you do lose up on either HP advantage or hypnosis, move, gauge, refresh. And if you're doing critical strike two, which is the one I prefer, um, Instead, you could just go ahead and pick up Impervious over here, and on that, you're missing out the 20% on Good Nightmare. However, you get that extra 20% on Critical Strike 2 anyways, right? So you lose 20% on Good Nightmare, you gain 20% on Critical Strike 2. The only big thing you're losing out on is the extra 20 special attack, which, again, is good, um, but but I, I would say this is a bit more important as you get to keep uh both hp advantage here as well as uh hypnosis move gauge regen so this is probably my preferred um build uh personally for for um for delphox um and and i guess there's other builds where you don't want to pick up stationary or target five uh, you know at, at all if you just want to go for like really really fast or, or or if you're you know fighting something that's like not that difficult right and you want to just go like full in on like a uh, good nightmare uh good nightmare or whatever and then you could again, like I mentioned, you could drop that instead, and then do something like this, I guess. Um, again, this is for really, really short stages that you know where move MGR isn't like that big of a deal. Pick up you know more damage nodes. Um, and another, I guess, uh, thing you could build for Delphox is a sync nuke build, which I don't really recommend. Um, it's not bad. It does it does it does good damage, but I I, I would just prefer if you want to like sync nuke with a yeah, fire type, just use. Hilda or Red instead, right? Um, Hilda should have the better sync nuke, uh, but it, it, it just depends on what you have, right? So, um, as for that, obviously you want to pick up the um, uh, Mystical Fire of Positivity <laughs> power up here. Uh, come down, pick up Root Awakening. Uh, again, as usual, Hypnosis MGR. So, this would be a sort of tech um, build for tech build for. Uh, for 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 uh, Delphox, that also gives you um, a good a good sync nuke uh, as well, right over here. Um, pick up some stuff like can't stop us, um, G MGR, uh, fire spin MGR, or uh, if you need that, right. And probably you want to pick up dynamic entry as well, or if you don't want to pick up dynamic entry, you come down. Um, oh, actually, never mind. Uh, let's see, what did I... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, no, 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 no. You don't want dynamic entry. Um, you, you probably want uh, the sync, um, the sync uh, move here instead. I forgot. I, I thought I already picked up the sync move. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want that, and you probably want to pick up dynamic entry instead. Um, but, yeah, like, you don't have to pick that up. You could go for, like, the MGR3 over here instead for fire spin. Again, it depends on what you're trying to build, what units you're bringing, um, what lucky skill you're using, right? So, um, yeah, uh, the reason why I'm not picking up, uh, you know, stuff like HP Advantage or Station Target or whatever is, you know, for those who don't know, um, these do not apply. Uh, let me see. Yeah, yeah, these these do not apply to sync moves. Um, only stuff like Critical Strike 2 applies to sync moves. If you, you know, read their descriptions, when they say powers up moves, it means it doesn't apply to sync moves. When it says sync moves, it applies to sync moves, and... For stuff like Critical Strike 2, um, or, or Critical Strike, whatever, right? Uh, it says Power Ups Attacks, which is that, that attacks include both moves and sync moves, right? So, um, yeah, that's me for this one, I guess. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Like, enjoy this video, subscribe to the channel for some more Pro content. Uh, Hilda's Grid should be dropping tonight, I think, so that should be fun. Uh, but yeah, um, yeah, uh, I'll see you guys uh, in the next one then.